Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you so much for blessing us, Lord, on this high Sabbath, Lord, to be here, to hear these wonderful truths taught to us, Lord, and to experience, Lord, what fellowship will be like for eternity. Lord, we thank you for binding us together at this time. And Lord, I'd like to ask a special blessing for Brother Theodore and Brother Parminder as they stand before your people to share with us, Lord, the beautiful words of life, Lord, that is enriching our souls and giving us a trust in you, Lord, a, a newfound love for you, Lord, that uh, we have yet uh, to experience. And we, we thank you for this. This has been the hope of our life, Lord. So we ask a special blessing upon them and your people as we receive these words. We thank you, Lord. And we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. I'm not going to take up much of your time, but... I'm going to remind you of some things and then we're going to look at what happened, what we understood last night. So, we know these 391.5 days that go from noon October 13th, 2018, which was last Sabbath, and go to November 9th, 2019. We're saying that this is the midnight cry because in 977 we had the 15th day of the 8th month. And if we put the 8th month as August 15th, that would mark the midnight cry. And so we believe the midnight cry or the loud cry has begun last Sabbath. And we had here to start this the second day of the fourth month. And in 2018, this is June 15th. And to start with this date, I use some logic, and some of that logic has to do with this is the publication in 1844 of Samuel Snow's last letter. So Elder Jeff put that on the line. The fourth letter was published three days before midnight. But I have no event here to mark this. I also marked it with the triple chiasm, the 77 days, the 77 days, and then if you count from the second day of the fourth month, in 1844, 77 days, you arrive at October 3rd. And October 3rd was the time that Sister Tess presented 10, day, 10 years and the midnight cry. And 10 days later, the midnight cry was given here. So there's, there's some logic that points to this. So you can review that if you, if you didn't follow that completely. Uh, what we have is we have a date in Millerite history that we're connecting to our history. And so Millerite history, especially Samuel Snow's letters, is primarily about the priests. Now, Elder Jeff put up a line and he says that our interpretations differ. differ. The differ, difference is that is one of scale. So I'm applying Samuel Snow's letters just to the priests, but they also apply to our bigger line. And a lot of our lines, we start at the beginning and we can extend them out. When it comes to Samuel Snow's letters, we actually extend them back. So it's the beginning that can be moved, not the end. I hope that makes sense. So what happened last night is Richard sent me uh, a messenger. I'm not sure when he sent it exactly, but a message on messenger. And you have a piece of paper. If you don't have, there is some in the back. And this helps us establish June 15th as the beginning of this period of 120 days. And what happens is we have to go back further in history to June 2nd, 2017. Now this day is the sixth day of the third month in 2017, which is Pentecost. So in Samuel Snow's letters, his third letter was Pentecost and his fourth was three days before midnight, three days before the fifth day of the fourth month. So it was the second day of the fourth month. And what happened according to this, this is taken from the School of the Prophets website, it's just a screenshot I put there for you, but I typed it out with some typos on my part. But it says, Jeff's sermon was on the significance of the glory of 911 to us as priests 
and the judgment of the living which started from 9-11. It went for exactly 120 minutes, a prophetic symbol for 9-11 to midnight. It's actually for 9-11 to the midnight cry. And when it concluded and Jeff knelt down to pray, the time was, believe it or not, exactly 9-11 p.m., which was exactly when the sacred hours of the Sabbath started. And I probably sh should have done this differently. I need to do this over here, so I have to correct this. Because I need room for those 120 minutes. So this is June 2nd, 2017. And over here, there's 120 minutes that Elder Jeff presented. He started at 7.11 p.m. and he finished at 9.11 p.m. just as the sun was setting. And this sunset began the Sabbath. And so I'm saying that this 120 minutes parallels this 120 days. And then what I did is some math. And that math was simply seeing these 120 minutes, I recognized that I probably could count from that. And I started from the beginning of Pentecost. So I didn't start from the sunset. I started from the beginning of Pentecost because Pentecost is being marked. And I counted 300, I'll put it down here, I guess, 391.5 days. Now, that had me arrive here, 13 days past where I wanted to, to end up. So that gave me June 28th, 2017. And so that looks not good. Except that I looked on the Julian calendar, and the Julian calendar marks June 15th, 2017. 20, 2018, pardon me. Yes, 2018. And so that means that this brings me to June 15th, even though it's a different June 15th. But once again, we have this, this pattern here. So this is the second day of the fourth month. Now, originally... Daniel had expected the midnight cry to occur here based on a period of 120, 126 days. So if we go back here, six days earlier, and we count this here, we have another event that occurred in Italy. So this was in Italy, and this is in Italy. God declares the end from the beginning. And here, at the end of the Sabbath, once again, Elder Jeff prayed at 9.11 p.m. and it again was sunset. But this one is ending the Sabbath and this one's beginning the Sabbath. So beginning. And so this gives us both the evidence for this date based on the 126 days and it also gives us the 120 days Paired with 120 minutes. Does everyone see that structure? So what this says to me, and I've said in my presentations, that 2017 is Pentecost. And that has to do with the line of Christ and also with Samuel Snow's letters marking, uh, as I said, um, Last year in 2017, I believe that it was, uh, not, pardon me, Pentecost, but Passover. So 27 was Passover. But now we can see that 2017 is Pentecost. So I hope you can understand the logic of this. I'm going to write it out a bit better. This was written very hastily. So, I know, it's, it, maybe I went too fast. Does everybody understand it? Who doesn't understand what happened? here because there's a few people so we had this last Sabbath now this Sabbath here just by the way is a baptism and this is eight days to October 20th but we had this happen last Sabbath we had this event 
at noon where I did this calculation and it gives us to midnight November 9th 2019. I used June 15th, the date of Samuel Snow's fourth letter, to mark a period of 120 days, even though nothing in our history happened on June 15th that I know of. But then, I was, my attention was brought to this event in Italy last year on June 2nd. And I counted from there and came to June 15th, 2018 though 13 days difference because this is the Julian calendar and this is the Gregorian calendar. But I also came to understand from talking to people about it that this event here is also particularly marked because in 2018 we can mark from this prayer at 9-11 p.m. we can mark 126 days to this date as well. Does that make more sense that I explained it again? So this expectation of this being the midnight cry by Daniel was correct based on 126 days, but it's also 120 days, which would be the 120 years of the kings of Saul, David and Solomon, followed by the 391 years and six months of divided is Israel. So this is just Judah. And this pattern is also similar to those of, as you know, the 391 and 15 days of Josiah Lich's prophecy and also the prophecy of Josiah as interpreted by Ezekiel. So God has set up this pattern and we have this pattern recognized this week and we have this one recognized last night that ties the two together. But it also ties, ties what was happening in 2017 this organizational meeting in Italy, I believe it was organizational, to this history here in Italy, which then begins a period of time that marks this history. So, if you have questions, you can ask me, but that's basically all I had to say. And the diagrams on the back, you can look at it there as well. Okay, somebody has a question. Not that I know of. The question was, does the 391 days have anything to do with Islam? That's a good question. I don't have any information on how it would connect with Islam. I believe it's the kings of Judah and Israel, or the kings of Judah, that it's marking as a pattern. Dear Father in Heaven, we just ask again for wisdom and understanding in the things that we have presented here. We know, Lord, that there's so much to understand but yet, if we can see the patterns, we can understand. Help us to realize that understanding will give us insight and that we will be able to not just memorize numbers and figures, but we will be able to explain to others who want to know the truth. And so we ask for this wisdom as we continue to study and pray and that you can bless us on this Sabbath. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.